if I were to just sum up CAE very quickly, it would be that CAE is your first step into like getting where you want to be. The vision for the center was designed with creating an opportunity for all students who come to the university to have access to the Wisconsin experience with a specific focus on BIPOC students and first-generation low-income students who historically uh, have not only had access to higher education but were less likely to engage in the kinds of opportunities beyond the great education that set you up for life after you leave the university. I came into UW-Madison uh, just a freshman, very like scared to enter such a big university and being so far away from home for the first time. And CAE offered such a big support system that was in place from the second I stepped foot on this campus. A lot of the CAE students that are here today didn't have it easy academically. And I think that having a program that really believes in you fundamentally and who you are and knows that you can succeed is so important to have as a student. Part of being in a place like uh, the Center for Academic Excellence is you get connected with an advisor um, that is, um, has an opportunity to really help you think about how to create your comprehensive academic experience. You know, these are highly trained professionals who allow you to really think strategically about your education. Um, uh, students who connect with CAE advisors are able to spend more time with their advisor thinking strategically than most students on campus. It definitely felt like a wholesome program in which everyone worked hard to make sure that I succeeded and that every student in my cohort and in past cohorts and future cohorts were succeeding together. And that's something you don't get from the general advising on campus because you're assigned to one advisor and you just know that one advisor's name. However, at CAE, it was one of those experiences where I knew all of the advisors and I was able to call all of them my advisors, which was surreal and beyond useful to me. So I appreciate that um, to this day. Within a college community, having someone who can, who knows you, who understands your, your challenges, who gets to know your talents, helps you think about your aspirations, having that person who helps you plot your path, who encourages you when things are tough, um, is just really invaluable support and that's what our advisors do. So absolutely academic advising but also success coaching, thinking about how to make this large university small in a way that allows you to tap into the experiences that allow you to meet your goals. When you walk through the center you'll see students working on uh, calculus problems here. You'll see students just sitting back, relaxing, having coffee. You'll see a small group of students who might be in a student organization. Organize. So they have a community, a place that is in Central Campus where uh, they call it home. So the CAE space, B47, Bascom Hall, is one of the places I called home, my second home when I was on campus. Whenever I was trucking up the hill, I knew exactly <laughs> where to be if I wanted to get my work done, get some mentoring done, and also to connect with my, my friends. CAE was a space for all of it. UW-Madison is an amazing place. The opportunities here are limitless. This is a big campus with a lot of students. And for a lot of our students, what we need to do is make sure they can find community, find a place where they can find each other, find folks who share their background, who share their, their history, uh, who come from communities that are similar. That's what CAE can do for our students, particularly for our students of color, so that they can find that place where you can let your hair down a little bit. You can be yourself. I think to really understand um, how CAE um, came to be, you have to understand the history of the university and the connection of CAE to the five-year program. The five-year program was started in 1966 by Ruth Doyle and also Ruth Peterson, who was the, the, the dean of women back then, um, understood that we need to think about greater access to the university. Um, and it was a program that was modeled around the country. Um, and so it was people like Ruth Doyle and James Ball who really started to ignite things. Uh, this was a campus-wide program um, through its first iteration as a five-year program. 
you know, in the mid 70s, the program became the academic advancement program. And when that happened, one of the things they looked at, they saw that most of the students who participated in the program, even though it was campus wide, were getting degrees in the College of Letters and Science. And so they thought strategically it was best to put the center or put the academic advancement program in the College of Letter Science. And for a long time, AAP uh, was the premier program on campus. I remember first hearing that acronym or telling people I was a part of CAE and I got like the whoa, like that sounds so prestigious. And I was always like very, I felt like an imposter almost because I didn't see myself like that. And I think every single one of us graduating from the CAE program is starting a career or a journey that we're all really, really proud of and something that we didn't think that we would achieve if it weren't for the opportunity that CAE gave us that many of us didn't think we would ever get. This is mission work. Sometimes I can't believe that this is what I get to do. I wake up every day just thinking that I could be thankful that I'm able to, to be a part of this journey. I always tell students when we're celebrating our graduation ceremonies, I, I thank them for allowing me to be part of their journey. When I think about what I hope, what I hope people will will say about CAE 50 years from now, in terms of what we're doing now, is that it continued to build upon the legacy that allowed students to be successful, that allowed them to become lifelong learners, that allowed them to create and establish and maintain a fulfilling life and an important career that would allow them to change the world. CAE, they believe in the students when they don't believe in themselves and they see something in these students that is so powerful that when they get to the end of their four years, they are so thankful that they had CAE to have their back because they have become a person that they are extremely proud of. Do not be afraid about your potential. Do not be afraid about your downfalls. And know that you will make it through and you will have one of the best experiences that anyone at UW can ask for. College is not easy. It's not supposed to be easy. But the way to get through college, the way to thrive in college, is to have a community. CAE provides that community.